I'm sure this has happened to a lot of people, where a wall anchor has failed. And you head to the store, you try buying a new wall anchor, and there's tons to choose from. It's really hard to tell which one's going to be the best, and which one's actually going to work and stay in the wall. So I decided to buy a few of them. And we're going to test them out today. And I'm not really worried about which one's the best, but which ones will work. So here's the old wall anchor. You can see it like expands when you put a screw through it. And we'll take a screw, push it through. And then once you push the screw through, it's supposed to expand. It's supposed to open more. And it's actually supposed to open about this far, but you can see this wall anchor doesn't even seem deep enough for half inch plywood. So we'll test it out, we'll grab a drill that's about the size that we need, drill a hole into the wall, push in the wall anchor, hammer it in, and on the back side you can see it didn't even really push through. We'll put a screw in, and it's expanding a little bit, but it doesn't seem right the right size for half inch um, drywall, maybe quarter inch drywall. And then sometimes they say you're supposed to keep turning the screw and that'll expand it a little more. And it doesn't seem to be working. So we're gonna try this next one here. This one you put the screw in and then there's these little blue tabs that after you put it in you continue screwing and I guess it holds the drywall. So we get a drill bit it's a larger hole and we'll put the wall anchor in and we'll use a screw to screw it in and there it is coming out the back side of the drywall and we'll put the screw in and then we'll tighten it with the screwdriver and when we tighten it with the screwdriver, those little blue tabs, you can see they're starting to work their way back, and they're starting to hold a little better. So that's a pretty good wall anchor. Now here's one of the wall anchors that I see all the time. So this little green one here will drill the hole and just push it in. That hole might have been a little too large for it. And we'll put a screw in. And these just expand. Then we got these. You put a screw in, they expand a little bit, and then you continue screwing. And the wall anchor will pull back on the drywall and really hold it securely. And push it in, hammer it in, and then we'll add the screw. Now when you screw this one in, it expands. And then once you're done screwing in, you grab a screwdriver or a screw gun and you continue going. It starts to pull back on the drywall to hold it in there a little better. And we'll move on to some metal wall anchors. These things probably work well in wood, but I don't know about drywall. It's got these little teeth right here that are supposed to grip. We'll see how those work. So we'll start, we'll drill our hole. Push it through, hammer it a little bit, and then we'll tighten the screw. Then the metal starts to twist as we tighten the screw, and it's starting to twist a lot. And if you look at the other side, it's starting to bury itself in the wall. So let's Take the screw out a little bit. Can't get the wall anchor out and screw it back in. Oh man, that thing's really chewing up the wall. You know, let's screw it in a little more, see what happens. Yep, okay, that just made a really nice hole in the wall. So, that right there is definitely not going to work. Supposedly they're designed for drywall, but I don't know. So we'll try these other wall anchors. Now this one you just put the screw in, it looks like it just snaps and expands in the back. 
we'll see how this one works. See if we can use that hole. Now that hole's too big, so we'll drill a smaller hole. And this hole right here is definitely too small for this. I should have drilled a bigger hole. Because as you can see, it's cracking the drywall. You don't want to do that. Okay, so I'll put a screw in. And you can see it expands and it holds in the back. And this is what I like to call the last resort. So this right here is pretty nice. Now you need a half inch drill bit right there that holds large enough and this you just take it and you just bend it down you push it through the metal piece goes into the drywall and you extend it it's better if you pull it back so it sits flat first but this one i actually push forward first it'll still work okay now we're going to pull it back As you pull it back, you'll see it flips up, and they, okay, so that flipped up, and we'll pull it back tighter. Once you pull it back tight, then you snap this. Once you have it snapped, then you put this long bolt in, this long screw in. Screw that in. And once you get screwed all the way in, it starts pulling real tight against the wall. So overall, here's all the ones I end up using. And you can see majority of them end up working. Except for the first one was really bad. And the metal one that I used earlier was awful. That's the one that's awful. That one did not work out at all. So I wouldn't end up buying those, they're too small. These are great. Those work really well. These work okay. These work really well. You push them through the wall and they work great. These don't buy. They're, unless you're drilling into wood, I don't see them working. These work really well as well. And this one, the last resort, this one works great. If you have a really large hole and you don't know what to do, this one, outstanding. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, think about subscribing to my YouTube channel. Keep you up to date on all my future videos. Leave a comment about what you liked or what you didn't like. Thanks again for watching.